Hi, this is my text-based game on C++ Visual Studio and I call it Strike because I named it from Counter-Strike, a game I like and yeah, let's have a look So this is my game app and I have this logo here with Welcome to Strike Press enter to continue. Enter. Please select first selection, introduction, two, start game, and three, exit. So we're gonna press one to see what's inside the introduction. Okay, so this is a basic first person one to one shooting game. Story based on a bunch of terrorists who just robbed the bank and the police came just on time when the terrorists are trying to escape. Okay, first you can choose either to be a terrorist or police. Two, select your gun. There's four guns, so choose wisely. And three, there's only one map. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get the map done in this game yet, so when I show you my game, there won't be a map. And press 1 and enter to go back to the main page. 1, enter. Okay, so now we go select two, enter. Okay, here's our character, terrorist or police. I'll select terrorist one, enter, and please enter name or dream. So. Okay, and please select gun. There's four guns here. Pistol, SMG, LMG, and shotgun. All of them have different damages and different kill rate. So the damages is the damage you take from the opposition when they got shot. Like if you're a terrorist and you shot the police, then it would take. If you're using a pistol, it would take 40 out of the police life. So it would be 60 less if they got shot. And the kill rate is the accuracy that you sh you get to shoot the police. It's eighty percent. So most of the time you get to kill the police. And this shotgun, because it's shotgun, you have to shoot really close. And the kill rate is thirty percent that you you would miss the police by seventy percent. But if you get the 30% you just kill the police straight so I'm gonna choose pistol now one enter here select selected character terrorist player or green weapon pistol do you want to change anything before game starts no one enter so terrorist or dream you have just robbed whatever bank and it's time to leave the sirens from the police broke the silence in the air. I take the police or try to hide from getting shot. Good luck. Enter. So, choose one to attack or two to hide. Okay, I'll select one, attack. Attack the police. I shot the police. You shot the police. Police life 60, my life 100. Again, choose one to attack or two to hide. I would choose probably height. Nice height. My life is still 100%. Try shoot. I shoot the police again, so the police life is 20. The height again. I got shot, so it took 50, 50 damage out of my life. Okay, and I height again. Nice height. I shot the police. And I got shot. Okay, this is a fair game. Game over. Fair game. So, usually it won't happen, but it just happened to be a fair game. But we'll try again. Go back to main menu. Start game. Here it is. I name the game. So now I select SMG. If you want to change, no. 
one and two. So again, carry and I just rob a bank again. So choose one to attack or two to hide. Now I will choose hide. Nice hide, hide again. Nice hide, attack. Okay, I shot the police and I'm not, I'm not getting shot. So hide again. You see, hide. I shot the police and then again I got shot. So here game over. I lost. Okay, so that's basically my game. Press 1 to go back, press 2 to quit. So we're going to quit the game and I'm showing you my code. Goodbye. Okay, press enter and it will quit the game app. So here's my code and the include and using as standard std and this is my first function center which I output my output my C out my string or my sentences in the center of the command prompt and this is type text which you see at the end goodbye it, the letters come out one by one in the center of the command prompt and this is the function for it and this is the function for intro so okay yep so three boolean for true and false of course and here it's a do loop um system CLS it's to clear the command prompt and here is the code for the three selections and if they select one it will have it will appear this will appear the introduction okay and press one to end to go back to the main page if they select one it go goes back to the main page and else there is this error and please enter one to exit to the main page enter and try again so if they select two it goes clear the prompt and it goes to the game and if it selects three it exits the whole game so else again the error message and And it goes in a loop if the user enters the invalid input, then it goes loops again and show showing the tree selection again, and they can select it all over again. Yep, and that's the loop for. And here it's our main game app code. System mode eighty eighty to set mode to ensure windows does not exceed buffer size okay and this is the center function I used to center the output and, yeah. and here's my declarations my character terrorist or police and username gun the damage and the terrorist life and the police life Lin. okay so this do big loop is for uh, we will discuss it later because it's for the whole big game not big but for the whole game that when it comes to the end if the person wanted if the user wanted to play a game then it goes through this loop and it comes back to the to select terrorists again and stuff. So, yeah, let's see what's in the code. So now this is the code for choosing terrorists or police. This is the input choice of character. If it's one, then put this string terrorists into the character. If it's two, then put police string police into the character. Else, it shows the error message. And do this, do this code while it's not, while character is not equals to empty string.
So second part is to enter their name. So please enter name and must not exit twenty character. So if so it I use get line instead of C in because there might be space between spaces between the name. So get line will just put the whole line into the into the variable. So I'm using username here. So if the username length is smaller than twenty, then put the input into username. And if it's larger or longer than twenty, then there will be a error message showing that it's an invalid input. And please press enter to try again. And it will look through if there is an error and it will look back up to ask them for their name and the third this is to select the gun there is these four guns so if you select one the gun it will put this string pistol into the variable gun and then the damage will be set at 40 and then goes to SMG, LMG, 2, 3, 4 has different damages 45, 60, 100 and if they enter invalid input then an error message will pop up and it goes look through the thing and ask them to choose the game and here there is this display so when you selected the character and you entered your name it will show on the top as in my game you you did already saw it. And here, when you decided all of the character, your name, and the weapon, then it will ask you if you want to, if you want to make any changes. So if no, if no, then change equals false, and it goes start the game. If yes, then it loops through this, and it goes and ask you to select a character again all over from the very top so if you selected no then it goes into this game app so now there is this if character equals to terrorist I have another if character equals to police down um, down bottom at the bottom of the terrorist but it's not necessary I would say because I just want to get the code running so I left it there and I would improve on this on the next on the next submission so this is the storyline and brief intro before enters game and then so choose one to attack or two to hide and then if it only accepts like one or two and if it's other then there is again error message so one is to attack and two is to hide so if it's one um, here it creates this random number from one to one hundred for the kill rate because there is eighty percent and seven eighty percent and seventy percent and so on so it creates hundred numbers and then random from 1 to 100 and then if it's 0 to 8, 80 which means it's 80% that you shoot the police so if it's from 0 to 80 then you shot the police and the police life which is 100 will minus the damage from the gun you choose so it's from pistol so pistol will be 40 uh, 40 damage so it's 100 minus 40 which is 60 okay it's max well and if else if it's 80 to 100 then you miss and police life will still be whatever it was there so if kill rate is bigger okay so this it's a 30 percent for the for the player the user to get shot by the if i'm a terrorist 
it's 30% for the police to shoot me. So if it's from 0 to 30, if the random number is between 0 to 30, then I got shot and my life will minus 50 because the rate is so low that I will get shot. So once I get shot, it takes 50, 50 damages from my life. And if it's from 30 to 100 means I didn't get shot, I was lucky, I didn't get shot, so my life will still remain 100 or whatever it was, it used to be. And it applies to all the guns here with a different, with a different, okay, I'll show you, yeah, with a different rate, kill rate, so this is 70%, yeah. And it still remain the same 30% that I get shot, but 50 damages from my life. And LMG, 60% I get, the user get to shoot the police. Terrorist, if you are a terrorist, you get to shoot the police, 60%. And shotgun, it's 30%. Okay, so if the user choose to hide, which is 2, then it's you give the user give up their chance to shoot and they could hide and it's thirty percent that they got shot and if they get shot it's fifty damage same as the top but yeah you just the user just gave up their chance to shoot and they choose to hide probably the police found them and shoot them from the back or something so else error. okay so if they enter something other than one or two then there will be this error message and it just loops until the life is zero either one life either of them life is zero and the game ends and we will show this a message type text which I said just now it's when the string types out letter by letter so game over you win or game over you lost game over fair game which rarely happened but it happened just now okay <laughs> and this is the code I was saying if character equals police Code could be improved and this could be omitted. Yeah, and I'll just skip this part because it's the same as the terrorist. And here, options if the player wants to play again or quit the game. So there is one to go back to the main menu or two to quit. So after the game, if they choose to go back to the main menu, which they wants to play again, so it will restore the lives terrorist life and police life back to 100 and back equals true and if they select 2 then it will clear the command prompt and type text goodbye and that's it so yeah and this while back equals true this is the loop that I was saying that if they select to go and play again it goes back up to the start, uh, it goes back up to the start here again and goes through the intro asking them um, if they want to select introduction, start game or quit and continue on, go back down. And that's actually all of my game code and I hope you like it. And thank you for watching this. Bye.